Hi, and welcome to OurChurch.com's video tutorial series on WordPress. And on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a new product to your WooCommerce shopping cart. So if you log into the back end or the dashboard of your website, scroll down to where it reads Products with the little shopping cart icon and select Add Product. So the first thing that we want to do on this page is type in our product name. So we're going to add an 8 gig flash drive. And then add the description that you want for this particular product. And then move down to where it reads product data and you'll get to select between four different kinds of products. The first is a simple product and this is a product type that will cover the mass majority of most products that people sell. Simple products are shipped and have no, um, no variations or no options. Uh, a group product is a collection of related products which can be purchased individually uh, individually and can consist of simple products. So they could be things that are uh, individual products but are grouped together and it just makes it easier for your customers to be able to purchase one group product together. Uh, external or affiliate products are a product that you list and describe on your website but is sold elsewhere. And then lastly, a variable product is a product which has several different variations, um, each of which will have their own different SKU, price, and stock options. Uh, for example, a t-shirt that is sold in different colors or different sizes. So for this particular uh, product or video, we're going to just um, add a simple product, and we will add a SKU number. You don't need to do this, but if you uh, want to keep track of your products by um, SKU or stock keeping unit numbers, you can do that. The price, we'll go ahead and make it $29.95. And if you want to have a sale, you can put in a sale price, and you can even schedule your sale dates. You can put uh, exactly when you want the sale price to, uh, to reflect what uh, time it will start or what date it will start and what date it will end. Um, for this particular example, we're not going to do that, so we'll hit cancel. Now inventory, go ahead and click on the inventory tab on the left, and we are going to want to uh, manage stock, or in this particular case, we, uh, we want to manage stock. You don't have to if, uh, if you're not selling a lot of products or if stock is not an issue. Um, but we're going to say that we have 10 of these in stock right now, and it is in stock. And then do we want to allow back orders? Um, we would like to in this particular case, but we want to notify the customer that it's on back order. And then you do have the option that if um, you only allow one of this particular item to be bought in a single order, you can select that box, but in this case we don't need to. So for shipping, uh, we can put in a weight of a dollar, dimensions, that's not a big deal. The shipping class, uh, which we established in another video, um, we're going to select flash drives. Now under link products, if we want to have other upsells or cross-sells, this is where we would do that. Or if we want to group products together, we can select that. Um, but for this particular video, we're not going to do that at this point. And we'll skip over attributes as well. Um, go down to advanced options, and you can have a purchase note, which is a, uh, a note that um, would be sent to the customer after the purchase, or the menu order. You can custom order the position for this particular item. And then lastly, you can enable reviews if you want to for this particular item. I think that enabling reviews or giving your customers the opportunity to review products and services is a good thing. So I'm going to select enable review. Now, if there's any custom fields, you can enter those at, uh, at, at this point. Uh, we're not going to do that in this particular video. Uh, and then under short, uh, the product short description, Let's go ahead and we're going to take the description from 
what we added above, but we're going to shorten it a little bit. And then the page links to its normal WordPress URL, just keep that as is. Now, on the right hand side, there's product categories, and this is uh, ways for you to categorize your products. So if you have multiple flash drives that you'll be selling and you want to categorize them so that people coming to your website have the ability to select a category and see all of the products in that category, you can do that. So we're going to select flash drives. And then under product image, let's go ahead and set the product image. So we'll click on that. And these are images that have already been uploaded to the website, but we're going to select that image. And you can put things like captions and alt text and descriptions, things like that. But we're just going to keep everything as is for right now. And click on set product image. And now it shows that image there. And then we will click on save draft. This will save all the information that we just entered, and then we will preview it. So this will open up a new screen that will show you what that particular product page will look like. So there it is, flash drive, 8 gig, shows the price, and how many are in stock, the short description, the SKU number, and the category of flash drives, and then under the bottom area where we have a description tab, it shows the longer description. If there was additional information, it shows what the weight is, and if we put in the dimensions, it would show that. And then if there were any reviews, when someone clicked on that, they can review the product. So that shows you exactly what the customer will see when they go to the website. So we're going to close that out, and then if we are ready to publish, we will select and click on Publish, and then it is live on the website. So I hope this helped give you an understanding of how to add a product to your website using the WooCommerce plugin. Please come back and watch more video tutorials so we can help you accomplish your mission online.